Farmer's Diary. Today we're right here in Goromonzi where we're going to be taking you through the use of Hamson organic fertilizer on crops such as tomatoes, your lettuce and even pastures for livestock. So this is the episode to watch. My name is Tanyala Zomtizo and I'm your host. decorated uh, consultant, there's one critical measurement which farmers are overlooking, which is the BRICS measurement, which will definitely help your plants to grow. What exactly is BRICS? BRICS is the sugar content nutrient in a plant. So the higher the sugar BRICS, the better the health of the plant, and the lower the pest infestation. Actually, if it's 6 to 8 amphids will fall away, 8 to 10 sap sucking, 10 to 12 chewing insects will fall away. But now let's look at how do you increase your sugar bricks content. Definitely there are certain products in the market. Um, there's Humison product which is very very good um, for all your products if you want to increase the sugar bricks content and then you will not have any pests. What does it have that it's very very critical? It's got the humic acid, it's got the fulvic acid and it's got good calcium levels which is actually pivotal to increase the sugar bricks content. So eventually you realize that once your bricks is up all the pest will fall away so the whole idea is to make sure that you increase your sugar bricks content no pests will actually come to the plant so all the pests they do not have the pancreas to digest the sugars in a plant so when it's above 12 you are sure that you will not have any any pests coming to your plant so i will just show you around all these plants why they are actually thriving is because Humuson product was actually used moreover their bricks is actually good so you can see everything here is actually good so you remove the nozzle you saw it rich so now that now, now this depends with your crop if it's a crop you could eat it closely spaced by closely spaced I mean the onions the ginger 15 centimeters interval spacing higher. Mm -hmm. You can actually come in and apply more. Mm -hmm. But if it's like the tomatoes or the peppers or the cabbages, and about 30, 45 centimeters, you can come in and apply pazine, pazine. Mm -hmm. uh, covering uh, yeah, this, uh, we recommend uh, this covers a hectare. So you have the sand, clay, saka, clay, a lot of negative charges, right? Saka, this would be applied less. Because sand, you'd be applying more. Because uh, sand, I know this around. So you're now trying to reduce the charges so that the nutrients can be hold by the soil. Saka, this, I could say maybe in clay, you applied one bottle. Because sand, you'd be applying two. Because the soil type is uh, This is diluted in a drum. This one later, I grow plus. So I need about one to two of these per hectare, depending with the crop. Application. One application. Recommend you minimum know, applications of three minimum. But uh, your pocket is the limiting factor per <laughs> <laughs> For my crops, I can peraxiana A to Z. A bit my mono or my die. Can I like, okay, I can put some tanga. The first uh, leaves, which are not the leaves, they put to apply websites. So I can apply website for first two leaves. That website I shandy. But if you are some of the people who have used my website, you see that could any can know as she are rich for apply website and so that so rarenu runquasako. So the same applies with the grow plus. At Mutang apply uh planted ango Buddha. There are certain leaves for Kuraki plant are not absorber, be it the fertilizer, be it the fungicide, be it the inside. Saka it's also we say from she four. To be scientific, mm -hmm. up to six. That's when you start applying this. Depending with your crop, you can apply this crop plus every week or uh, after every two weeks. Using um, 
by stimulants to increase our mobility, calcium, from the apply of machine. So uh, this, it is, um, it's also by stimulants, so it means you can also use it in terms of increasing the mobility, calcium, and here, of course, this product is also is calcium, which is your NPK, your own, zinc molecular, and very normal. Uh, so this is uh, the one which you apply on your on your leaves. <coughs> so I come now that you know the groplas. You can not cover I mean you know the groplas. So I eat nephric acid which makes it also mobile or yeah mobile for my apply on my So there's no case not care causing what you need to achieve immobile. But you know also the such as those who want to try out the you can try out this goes for three dollars. This is the cup I mean the basa one. They are not in one nipsack. Then this is the grow plus. And I press, 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 press one liter. So this is the actual, the smaller quantity, the grow plus. So they are in one nipsack. There's this. Uh, I think some of you might have seen it on, uh, on the digital platforms or on Facebook, basically. Uh, right. To those who haven't seen it, this is called Max Prolin. Uh, it was talked about in winter as the first um, protector, yes. But in actual sense, it's not like first protector, but it's a uh, stress tolerance. It's more like stress picking my plant. So it cuts across all crops, like all the other fertilizers. So that you start administering it at four to six leaf stage, <coughs> you are trying to build the immune system in your plant so that you can tolerate the stress skate, you can beat the drought, the heat, the frost, you name it. All the stresses, or even what you could do, as not all can as well. Uh, when sometimes when you plant, because I've seen it, because we also do bill farming, uh, not you can our seedlings, Ako, come a transplanter. First, you cry sometimes they take time to, to, to adjust. The same thing, you not can a cook, it's not so, pure stress week, first week, what is that change your temperature, movement, nini, but fine, bye bye. So what you could do is you could actually uh, dip your seedlings before you transplant them. So you're just uh, trying to make sure to stress or transplanting show care why it has why it so that your plants can actually um, establish quite well and a bit faster. So yeah, you can also soak the seeds for planting or maybe you're doing a nursery, you can soak your seeds because it has some um, Almost which also they will help you to your seed to germinate. Uh, if some unfortunate person when you come through, by someone who did it, or some people who did it on uh, on seedlings, such as a cornflower, you're saying that she was saying that she has a problem with uh, germinating. So she dipped the um, seeds of cornflower in carbamine solution. And then uh, the germination was quite well. Humison is a complex which comprises of different biostimulants and the whole advantage with humison is that you get a complex that is different types of biostimulants which influence different types of physiology on a plant, which is nutrient uptake, even stress tolerance, as well as the physiology of the plant. So it's, it's a complex that helps the farm. brought the product to Zimbabwe, of course the farmers were very skeptical, it took lots of effort, lots of patience to, to convince, but I think now it's in our second year, um, looking also at the, especially the testimonies of the farmers, uh, it's, um, and, uh, and the smiles we're seeing on the farmers' faces, we can see that we are we are getting uh, we are getting there. Still, of course, we have uh, uh, lots of farmers who are who are asking for demos to show the efficiency of the product. And I think the, 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 the stakeholders who know me and also the farmers, my response is always, by now we have so many farmers using the product. So these are the best demos. Like uh, we, we have farmers in, in Chipinge, we have uh, lots of farmers in, in Baitbridge, in uh, Wange. I don't know, maybe not yet in Binga, but uh, the product is available all over the country in, uh, in, uh, in most of the retail shops. And now in the neighborhood, you can always find a farmer who is using the, the, the product. And this, this is the best testimony to go and see the results. And I think also the, the, the beauty about our products, it's also, one of the, it's also the packaging. 
you know, like we, we are accommodating every farmer. We are accommodating the, the commercial farmers who can buy the bigger containers, but especially the small scale farmers who are maybe can't or don't have one, one hectare of, of, uh, of, of land and also maybe can't afford uh, to spend lots of money on, on, uh, on, uh, on inputs. So the sachets for the small scale farmers, I think every, every farmer in Zimbabwe can afford to spend two or three dollars and, and try it out, the, the small packaging of, of Fumusan complex. That was yet another exciting episode of the show, The Farmer's Diary. My name is Tanyara Zomchizo and from the crew behind the scenes, do follow our social media handles.